Hey there, scroll army, how's it going for today? I want to talk about being too intrusive about people's deck. You can join the scroll army by subscribing. Alrighty, so this is a thing. It comes up here and there because we're all players and we're all trying to work out what the flub our opponents are doing. Um, so that we can sort of go, okay, can I live this turn? Or is my opponent just going to kill me? Or are they going to combo off? Um, you know, like, or is this attack safe? You know, like, are they playing a deck where I would assume that they're playing a lot of, like, you know, reactionary spells? Or, well, like, is this attack, like, a, something that someone would race that kind of a spell on, you know, like, why would they do that? Or why wouldn't they do that? Or, or whatnot. So thinking about those sorts of things and evaluating the game state and some people's, you know, game plans and, and whatnot. And again, like this has come back to threat assessment sometimes because you never know what somebody has in their hand, um, unless you're playing telepathy and things like that or whatever, but still like for nine times out of 10, you're not going to know what people have in their hand. And even if you know what they have in their hand, you might not know what their deck's kind of doing and why it's kind of doing that. And, and that sort of thing, because you don't understand the deck. You don't understand that there's, oh, they're trying to play this janky deck or they've just thrown this deck together or whatever, you know, like you never, never know what people are kind of doing when you come to an EDH table. But there is a point at which you're too intrusive onto people's decks and trying to figure it out too much and not really focusing in on, well, at a certain point, I can't figure out what my opponent is doing. If I don't know immediately what my opponent is doing, like I... Not that I give up, but, like, I just sort of go, well, I can't figure it out, so there's no point in me trying to figure it out right now, and maybe again, like, this might be a new player who's, like, built their first deck and thrown a whole bunch of commons or whatever they had into some sleeves and shuffled up and said, let's play, you know, or whatever. Or maybe this person has a really janky build or something, or they're trying something silly, like I'm trying a couple of... Uh, at least one really silly deck, or trying it at least, as I said, but still, like, that has a game plan, I don't know what it is yet, I'm still brewing that, but again, like, if somebody was to look at, like, what the deck's kind of doing, or what I want it to do, they might be going, why are you doing this, and why are you doing that, and well, that's for me to know type thing. And it, that deck does lead itself, and I want it to lead itself to being people asking, hey, you know, what the flub are you doing over there? What is it that you're doing? And, and so forth. But at a certain point, I don't want people to be, like, too intrusive into my deck. Because, again, like, I want to play that deck, especially, like, as much as possible. I want to... So I don't ever want to reveal what the deck's up to to anyone unless somebody actually figures it out. I don't want to reveal what I'm doing because I want to play that deck against them again. And they might have, like, if I've already revealed what it is to them, then it's, like, too easy unless I say, oh, well, I've changed it or whatever, you know, like... So, but they wouldn't know whether I did or whether I didn't. But again, like, you could just say, oh, well, I changed it. It's not that anymore. But you would have to, like, for me... Like, as far as, like, with that deck specifically, like, if, like, I've imposed a self-rule kind of thing on that deck is if people have guessed what I'm kind of doing, unless it's right there on the table in front of them and I'm about to literally win right now, then I will concede the game. Like, that's one of those self-imposed rules I put on that deck because if people have guessed what I'm doing, then cool. It was too obvious what I was trying to do or whatever and that sort of thing it wasn't... It wasn't silly enough, it wasn't off the wall enough, it was too obvious or whatever, um, and that sort of thing. So, okay, cool, I'll pull this apart and start again, or, you know, start from this point. I'll have my mana rocks, and I'll have my lands, and I'll have this, and I'll have that, you know. But, like, the actual thing that the deck's trying to get to and trying to do, okay, I'll change that out and do something else, or do something a little bit more interesting, or a little bit more silly, or whatever else. So, now it's doing this, or whatever. Oh, and yeah, again, if somebody, you know, like, 
if I was to reveal what, again, the deck was doing, it's like, well, what's the point in that? Like, it's like, now I have to tear my own deck apart because now I've revealed the information because I've put that sort of self-imposed rule on that deck. But, like, you don't have to do that with every deck, but I'm just saying in that deck specifically, it's, like, n not a good idea because I don't want to have to rebuild that deck unless I absolutely have to sort of thing. So... But, but then again, like, you could just go for a few more games and say, oh, well, I want to play with, you know, this person that I haven't played with in a while, even though Steve over there guessed what the deck was. This person doesn't know what the deck is, so, you know, I can play maybe a couple more games tonight with it uh, and see if more people guess what it is or whatever. I don't need to literally rebuild it now because there's no real point in real rebuilding it now because I don't have any cards to rebuild it with, so there's no point in tearing it apart right here and right now, so it might as well try to get as many games with it in its current state as it is type thing. But again, like, this applies to any deck. It doesn't just apply to my deck that's very specific and I want to keep it secret. It applies to every deck. Like, it's, like you sometimes I think people try to flex and try to be like, oh, yeah, I have this and I have that and da 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 I know some people are also like, oh, I don't want to reveal any information uh, at all whatsoever. And I don't love revealing information and things like that um, in my decks. Like, I have some of those cards that say when you uh, do something, you reveal the card, or blah, 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 this and that, and so on and so forth, or whatnot, that sort of style of stuff. But again, like, I try to limit that sort of stuff in most of my decks because I'm just like, I don't want to show people, like, Explore. Like, Explore is one of those um, ones I was really thinking, oh, man, I'm oh, cool, I'd love to put some of these explore cards into some of my decks because they'd be kind of good um, because either I get a counter or I get to draw a land. Uh, and, you know, maybe that's my 500th land in five minutes, but whatever. Or maybe it's my first land in 500 minutes. So who knows what, you know, like that's, that's the to and the fro of, of the gameplay sometimes and the variance of decks. So, like, you never know what you're kind of going to get. Uh, and that sort of thing. So, but again, like, I don't want to, re even, like, lands? Yeah, sure, that's fine. I don't really care about revealing lands to my opponents because, like, who cares? It's a land. Like, it's going to be on the field in five seconds anyway. But again, I guess, like, you, you should think about that in another way of saying, well, it's going to be on the battlefield in, like, five seconds or whatever else it is for the most part, so, like, why worry? But then again, like, it's like, well, especially if it's a counter spell or removal or a board wipe or something else or whatnot, that sort of thing, or a big haymaker or something that really, like, wins the game sort of thing, you don't want to reveal that thing to an opponent, to opponents or whatever anyway, so they don't, like, and maybe you just are, like, sitting there and crossing your fingers and hoping, like, they've forgotten that you've got it sometimes. I don't know. But it, that does happen. That happens very quickly and very easily because people are just, like, there's so much going on in the game, again, so it's just, like, very tough to sometimes keep in mind, like, oh, what did Adam draw off of, you know, his thing there? Or what did he put to his hand from you know, returning something from his graveyard or what, What you know, like, that sort of thing. Like, it can be tough to keep track of, of that sort of stuff sometimes, but it's one of those things, like, again, like, just revealing information is a, it, it, especially to some players who are much more on the ball and much more aware of, like, what's kind of going on and what's kind of a, you know, key piece or a combo piece or whatever for your deck, they're kind of be going, cool, whenever that you know, is about to come out, have my counter spell ready or have my, you know, disenchant or my swords of plowshares, whatever, ready for that thing. Um, so, you, again, like, sandbagging can be good because, again, like, you might be going, sitting there, and they and they, they might be thinking, wow, he could have cast that on that turn, so why didn't he? Like, so, like, again, you're trying to get people to go, I know he has it, so why didn't he play it? Well... I don't know why you didn't play it. Again, you don't know what people kind of got, but you don't know what their game plan is. They might have, you know, something up their sleeve. You never know. So you're just going, oh, okay, cool. Well, I'm going to continue with my game plan. But you never can sort of rest on that laurel of knowing, well, I know Adam has this thing, but, you know, uh, Steve just played this thing, and I think that thing is way more 
you know, important to the game plan right now and to and to my own survival and to, you know, the table, um, you know, survival than what Adam had. And he hasn't played it yet, so that's a bit weird, but still, whatever. I don't know what's going on with his hand or whatever. So maybe he has a plan or whatever. Who knows? <laughs> But again, like you, again, you never, never know. But like, when people are like, like, I don't want to not like be unfriendly to people who ask me about my deck or whatever. Like, I've put a few of my decks up online as well, so it's not impossible to find my deck lists as well. So it's just one of those things. Like, people can find some of those deck lists and go, "Oh, you've got this in there, and you've got that in there." Oh you really don't have any combos in here and whatnot, or you just have these things. Okay, cool. Uh, and you expect to win or whatever. But that's again, like their perspective. I, I do play games and I do enjoy the way I play and that's it. You know, like I don't really care about like, you know, like just putting in random combos that don't really have anything to do with like the deck synergy and that sort of thing. And even putting in, things that have a synergy with what I'm kind of doing, it's often like, well, when am I ever going to get those two cards, three cards, four cards, whatever, blah, 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 blah. Basically never, because, like, I have zero tutors to get them, and I refuse to play tutors because I'm not into tutoring and don't want that level of consistency. I do want more consistency sometimes, but, again, like, it's one of those things where... I don't want that level of consistency because it's just too much. So at a certain point, I've got to know that I'm tapering off that level of consistency and going, okay, cool, I'm not going this far into getting that much consistency, which is, again, why I don't really like land ramp as, as much either. Because And another reason is just because shuffling. Shuffling is just really annoying and takes so much time out of the game. Um, and on your, especially when it's on your turn, if it's on somebody's end step or whatever, that sort of thing, that's a bit different or whatever. It, I mean, if it's your turn next, like it might be a bit, you know, like, oh, well, guys, I've just got to shuffle because I've got to fetch or whatever. Like in my four color deck, like I'm really thinking about going now, how can I make the mana base better? And work without me needing to have these fetch lands in it because I really don't want to have to fetch that much in the deck because it's just so annoying and takes so much time out of the game to be like, okay, I'm going to fetch for this or am I going to fetch for that? Or, you know, like the decision tree that, that, that opens up and especially like the two color lands aren't that amazing, even though it's mostly a red white deck, like, and I'm splashing blue and black. But again, it's just one of those things that is just like, well, I still need those other colors at times. So <laughs> it's like, well, it's, I still need that, even though the deck makes treasures and that does help with fixing and things like that. But still, it's just like, ah, no, <laughs> what can I do? I have to find a solution for what, you know, what's going on in, in that deck. Because again, just having to shuffle all the time and I am running things that stop or I am running one thing that stops opponents from tutoring, but I'm also running something that's globally stopping people from tutoring. So that hurts me as well, or slows people down from tutoring at least. So again, I don't want to play those cards that much because it's like, well, you know, like that hurts me too much. So I really want to cut those other cards, but then I'm like, well, how do I fix the, you know, the mana base and whatnot? So, and how do I not make it like, tap layer tribal or you know whatever or you know like i have to you know find you know the triomes or whatever that i don't really like or am i just gonna have to find some other rainbow lands and hope for the best or whatever that sort of thing i don't know so again i'm still trying to like work it out and go okay how can i fix this deck how can it work blah 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 so on and so forth so like, again, but, like, if I was to show that to somebody else, maybe they could have the answer, but am I revealing, like, too much information about my own deck? Like, I don't know. Like, that's the other thing. Like, you know, like, you, you sometimes even us people who have been playing the game for a while and know a fair bit about the format and that sort of thing, we still arm and and kind of try to have to make these tough decisions sometimes. 
So again, it's one of those things like if you're re if you've got really good friendship with somebody, like it's not wrong to to ask somebody, you know, like what's in your deck or what are you doing or whatever that sort of thing. It's fine, but again, like if you're just kind of like I I don't know, like asking somebody, it, it's it's a little bit like, well, I'm not going to tell you <laughs> like that, like especially when you're in a game, like. And even after the game, like, like again, like not trying to be nasty or not trying to be unfriendly to people, but I don't want to tell people uh, what I'm trying to do with my deck, you know, when I'm playing them, like, because that's kind of like, you know, revealing the win condition of the deck in a sense. Like, you know, in general, this is what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to turn my stuff sideways and punch people and kill them. So... Or, you know, like, again, you can go generically and say, well, you know, this is a plus one, plus one counters deck, so I'm trying to get bodies to put plus one, plus one counters on and then turn them sideways and punch people with those, you know, plus one, plus one countered creatures. So that's what I'm trying to do, you know, or whatever else it is, you know, like, this is a tokens deck, so I'm trying to make tokens uh, and buff them up in some ways and some regards to punch people and kill people, you know? So that's, again, the game plan, but you're not revealing too much about, you know, what what you're doing or what not, you know, you're not giving too much away, you know, like, and that sort of thing, but you're, you're giving them an answer, you know, like, and, like, again, if people sort of press you to say, oh, you know, like, like maybe if people ask you more generically, are you running this or whatever, or what, you know, like saying maybe what power level do you think your deck is? Or, you know, do you have this combo or whatever, you know, that sort of thing like that's, that might be fair enough. You can say, but again, you can just say, oh no, I don't have it. And people wouldn't know whether you have it or don't have it and that sort of thing. So you might have it. Like, again, like it's one of those things, like, you, you might go, no, but yes, I, yes, you actually do, and you know it, but you, or whatever, you might be going, well, I can't tell you that, you know, like, or whatever, you know, and that's not saying yes or no, but they're probably just going to interpret that as yes, but again, like, even if you say, no, I'm not running this, or I'm not running that, or whatever else, most people are probably going to go, well... I don't believe you, so <laughs> so whatever. I'm, you know, just going to treat it like you are running this until you're not or whatever or until I'm, you know, you prove to me that you're not running it and that sort of thing. So, again, that's one of those things that, that happens in games and that sort of thing. So, you know, like the way you sort of phrase questions and the way you sort of want to ask people about their decks, you don't want to make yourself too intrusive on their decks. And you even might want to say that, look, I'm not don't want to be too intrusive, but like this seems this seems like a bad time for me if you've got this or if you've got that or whatever. You're playing white, so you must be playing rest in peace or whatever. Um no I'm not actually playing rest in peace, but I do have graveyard hate, you know, like just saying, hey, I have Graveyard Hate, but I don't have Rest in Peace. Like, they might be like, okay, well, obviously you have Grave Hate, because um, you're telling me you've got Grave Hate, but you're saying you don't have Rest in Peace, so maybe that puts my mind at ease and saying, well, okay, <laughs> you know. And that's another thing, like, sometimes you've got to ask those questions and be like, oh, do they have the board wipe and things like that, like... And maybe they do, and maybe they don't. Or do they have the combo, or do they have the win condition, or whatever else it is. Like, sometimes you might be asking that, and, like, they might go, well, I can't tell you that I've got it or don't have it or whatever, and that sort of thing. They might have it. They might not have it. Who knows? Like, that that's the half the fun of it. But, again, like, you don't want to be too intrusive and being like, oh, man, I really need to know if they've got it. You know, like, at a certain point, you've got to go, well, either they've got it or they don't got it. I've got to force them to have it or not have it. Like, do they have Cyclonic Rift or whatever? Okay, either they have Cyclonic Rift or they don't have Cyclonic Rift. If they have Cyclonic Rift, what is my plan B? Okay, like, 
what am I going to do if they have Cyclonic Rift? Okay, well, what I'm going to do if they have Cyclonic Rift is not commit anything else to the board at this point. I am just going to attack with my stuff at this point and see if, you know, they have Aetherize or whatever else it is that they have um, and hope that, you know, everything works out. If nothing, if it doesn't work out, then I'm just going to spend my next turn redeploying all my stuff that they just etherized or cyclonic rifted. So, you know, or settle the wreckage or whatever else it is. So again, like, it depends on what they have. So you're never, never going to know what they're going to, they're, they're going to have. You can make assumptions, but you don't know. And you're just like, well, at a certain point, I've got to say, fuck it. You know, like, let's go for it. Let's see what happens. Like, what's my plan B if they have, you know, uh, instant speed route or whatever else it is, you know, like, or an instant speed wrath because they've got the ability to play things at flash speed, etc. Uh, okay, well, my plan will be this, this, and this. So don't commit to the board anything else because um, they might have an instant speed wrath of some sort. Um... So I'm just going to attack with what I've got and or do my abilities with what I've got and then see what they do from there. And uh, then after my combat and after I've kind of done most of my stuff on my first main phase, then I'm going to go to my second main phase and, you know, maybe I'll deploy one or two things, but they've got to really replace themselves right away because otherwise if they do have a board wipe on their turn or whatever, like, at least I've gotten the value kind of out of those cards. Unless, like, again, like, you need Garrick's Uprising or something else or, you know, whatever else it is, like, you know, that sort of stuff. Um, you know, evasive effects or whatnot um, to get your stuff through, then I wouldn't really commit anything to the board at that point because, again, you never know what they've got going to have. They could have a counterspell and you go, well, again... What if they have Counterspell? What's my plan B? Well, I don't have a plan B or I have this plan B or whatever else it is. So, you know, I have Tusk Guard Captain. It's not quite as good, but it gives my stuff Trample, which is the thing I want. You know, or, you know, Sky Balloon Evangelist. I have that. That gives my stuff Flying that has plus one counters. Plus it gives everything or oh, a bunch of stuff plus one, plus one counters or whatever else it is. So, this is my plan, this is my plan B, this is my plan C, or whatever else it is. So, if they have counter spells, well, hopefully I can, you know, get my stuff through, or get, get my stuff to do the abilities that I need to do, or want to do this turn, and hopefully progress my game plan into winning, and, you know, that's all I can kind of do. But, you know, you, you can't be sitting there and going, uh, and asking people, you know, these, you know, like, you can, but again, like, you don't want to become, like, too reliant on them telling you whatever, anything, because you never know if they're telling the truth or they're lying, so you might as well not even ask them in the end, because, you know, they might not provide you with accurate information at the end of the day, so there, there isn't that much point in asking them, because again, like, they could tell you anything, <laughs> like, so... You know, they could tell you I have a banana in hand, <laughs> you know, like, that doesn't help me, <laughs> you know, I have goats in hand, okay, <laughs> what does that tell me, <laughs> you know, like, again, so, and, you know, you can play up to it, you could have fun with it and that sort of thing, I, I, ne I don't try to, I don't want to get, you know, hostile, I guess is the best way to put it, but again, like, when somebody is asking questions too much and just being a little bit too anal about it or whatever else or or whatnot or that sort of thing or going i know you've got this i know you've got this or what it, no i don't have this i don't have it i don't have it in my deck at all i think i had it once and then i sold that card or whatever and i never even put it in my deck no i know you've got this card because that's a combo with what you're doing so that doesn't mean i have it I'm playing my own game plan. This is my own deck. It's not just a deck that has every card in it that is a combo that works with this strategy, blah, blah, blah. You know, people don't want to believe that sort of thing. Oh, you've got Bowl of Citadel or whatever, things like that. No, I don't have Bowl of Citadel. 
because it costs too much life and I don't have enough ways to regain that life. Yeah, if I had a lot of ways to regain that life or whatever, then probably I would have it, but, you know, like, I don't really have those ways to regain that life, so there's no real point in me having that card that much. Um, so, yeah, it's one of those things. But, again, it's, it's, it's just one of those things. you kind of got to, you know, taper people down and say, look, mate, you've asked me the same question three or four times and you either you're going to believe me or you're not going to believe me and it looks like you don't believe me so you might as well keep going with the fact that you don't believe me or whatever <laughs> you know like I can't convince you that I'm not playing this or whatever at a certain point so like you're just going to be convinced that I'm playing it whether I'm playing it or not you know like I don't know at a certain point I'm not playing it and I've told you I'm not playing it, and I'm trying to give you good faith information. You know, like, I'm not trying to jip you, or, you know, like, sometimes people are trying to jip you and get you into thinking, oh, they're not running this or whatever. Most of the time, I'm not running anything that people think I'm running, like, nine times out of ten. Are you running Helioid and Walking Ballista? No. <laughs> I'm sure you're running Walking Ballista and Helioid. No, not running it. Or whatever, you know, like, that That often comes up and things like that, like, but that's a combo with the plus one, plus one counter synergy that you're playing. Yep, it is, but I'm not playing it. It's not, you know, like, <laughs> you know, like, again, as I say, I don't have the tutors to get them, so the fact that they'll come out together at any point is very, very rare, so it's just not really that worth it to really be doing that kind of thing in that deck, so... It's just like one of those things so people can believe i'm not running it or running it or whatever all they like but the fact is i'm not running it you know and if they don't want to like believe that at a certain point you've got to say look mate you're gonna believe you're not gonna believe that i'm not running it so you're not gonna believe that i'm not running it i'm not gonna tell you yes i'm running it suddenly because i'm not running it <laughs> you know like just to give in to your own delusion of you're running it, you're definitely running it, you're 100% running it, or whatever else it is. No, I'm not. You know, that's it. You know, like, so, and if you keep, you know, saying that I'm running it, <laughs> you know, you're going to lose to what I really am running because you're too focused on this other thing or, you know, this is too much now, you know, you you're... You're getting silly, you know, you, you need to calm the farm over there with thinking that I'm running this or I'm running that or whatever else it is, you know, and that sort of thing. You just need to try to win as best you can and do what you can to, you know, follow through with the game and that sort of thing. And again, like when people come, you know, around and out at the end of the game and like, you know, like, oh, well, sure, you had this or this or this or whatever. Yeah, but that's not in my deck, you know, again, as I sort of said throughout the game. So you don't really have it in your deck. No, I don't have it in my deck. And, like, <laughs> you know, again, like, again, I don't want to show people that I don't have it in my deck that much. But, like, sometimes some people are, are that, like, it's like, no, you definitely, no, I definitely don't. I 100% don't. And that's where it becomes, like, again, I can literally show you my deck. But, like, next week when we play, you're probably still going to be like, no, nah, you've definitely put it in there from last week or whatever, because now I've told you about this card. No, I knew about this card way before, <laughs> way before I even put this deck together and whatnot, and purposely didn't put it in, <laughs> you know, like... <laughs> so, again, people who continually, you know, go to people, and it's not just me, but I'm just saying from my point of view like when people are asking these sorts of questions and you'll get this sometimes in your games you know when people are like that you just have to be like you know this guy's convinced you know like there's no convincing him otherwise that i'm running this card or that card or whatever else even when i said no i already knew about that card before i made the deck and purposely didn't put it in um and that sort of thing but they're definitely sure oh yeah you definitely put it in today You've definitely sure you put it in today. I saw your list last week, but you're de I'm definitely sure you've put it in this week or whatever else it is, or today, or, you know, you must have put it in yet last night or whatever. No, I didn't. 
and they might even go up to like if you've got an LGS, be like going to the L person who runs the LGS. Hey, did Adam buy you know helioid ballista? And they're like, no, he didn't. Oh, well, he must have bought it online or something. You know, and things like this. Like you, you've got this own conspiracy theory in your own mind of like, oh, Adam's definitely running this because that's that's that that's the combo. Yeah. Why else would you be doing this? You know, like running this deck because it's fun because that's what I want to be doing you know like it's not just oh, I'm running a plus one plus one counters deck just to run helioid and ballista or whatever no I'm running a plus one plus one counters deck because I like plus one plus one counters I like aggro and I like you know the combat step and I like simple straightforward strategies that you know yield results Tokens. I like tokens because that's a simple, straightforward strategy. You know, I make a token. It does its thing. I make more of those tokens. And I amass an army of tokens. You know, like, again, so, yeah, it's one of those things that you can't kind of avoid sometimes because some people, you know, and I'm not saying all people, because some people are very chill and, like, again, will just, like, you know, sit back and like oh well if he has it he has it like then i'll respond to it you know like or whatever or i have removal for it or i have this for it or this is my plan b again so instead of sitting there and worrying or having your own conspiracy theories about like oh he's definitely got it now he's definitely got it this week or whatever never have it never had it you know whatever all that sort of stuff and that sort of thing so it's like but what <laughs> you no know? Because I don't find that fun, I don't find that interesting, or whatever. You know, that's the problem with some people, because they're just too focused on, you know, the win conditions of games, things like that, you know. So they kind of miss the point of, this is a game about fun, etc. You know, this is not a game that's just about, lol, I win, haha. -ha. I tutor for my thing, I win, haha. -ha. Whatever. You know, like... Not to say that that's bad or whatever. If people want to play that way, it's not my cup of tea. That's all. You know, that's fine. If everyone who, if everyone is fine with that, that's in your, you know, pod, that's cool. You know, like I say, <laughs> I have no problems with it. But I don't do it for myself and I don't want to play against most of those decks because, again, they're just way out of my power level because, again, I only play you know, sort of straightforward decks for the most part. I do have one or two decks that, you know, like Sacrifice and things like that, so it has an ultimate way to win, you know, like by pinging people and etc. But again, like, that's a pretty straightforward-ish, you know, strategy. Sack my thing, deal damage to my opponents, you know, gain value, draw cards, etc. So, you know, like, it's not, like, super complicated. Then I recur my thing, do it again, blah, blah, blah. Eventually, hopefully, I get a critical mass of stuff or I get enough stuff to, you know, mana and stuff to negate the mana gates or whatever else or whatnot to just, you know, play things and, you know, set, sort of set me go infinite in a sense, but or not infinite, but just enough to kill people, you know, like I deal 20 damage. Oh, and then I'll do another 20 damage. Okay, most people are probably, you know, dead, dead now, like or most like... The other people that are left aren't on much life for the most part, unless somebody was at, like, 400 life somehow or something, or whatever. But for the most part, people are all dead. So, like, you know, the game's over or whatever. And I've also gained, like, 40 life or whatever else it is. So now it's going to be really tough, even for those other people who are left, perhaps to kill me because I'm at, you know, 60 life or whatever else it is. So, yeah, at that point it's like, well, <laughs> you know, I just hope to hang on, you know, and I can still do that again next turn, deal another 40 damage or maybe even more. So again, it's, it's you know, one of those things. And if they kill my stuff, well, they're actually just helping me. So <laughs> they, they unless they're exiling my stuff, they're not really, you know, doing anything of any note. But again, like, I, if I have those free sack outlets, I'll just free sack my stuff at that point to save my stuff from being exiled. And yes, if they have something to exile my graveyard while it's all in the graveyard after that as well, 
well, that's the one two hit, isn't it? And I can't really do anything about that. But still, like, that is the way that the cookie crumbles sometimes. And I had fun and tried to win. So, you know, at that point, you know, I did my thing and had fun. And my opponents, you know, came back and beat me, you know, or, you know, maybe they didn't beat me because, like, you know, now Steve became the real big threat or whatever else, you know, like, so the game is always constantly evolving, and constantly moving. You shouldn't just be like, oh, well, I'm going to give up now because like people have kind of taken me out of the game because the game is going to shift. You know, the game is going to shift to somebody else is now the threat. So now you're probably going to be hopefully able to get back in the game and do your things and maybe even win from there. You never know. But again, it does depend. So, yeah. It, that is the thing and like understanding that you can't know everything and sort of don't need to know everything and you you need to keep it in mind that well they either have the thing or they don't have the thing and it doesn't really affect me one way or the other if they have the thing or they don't have the thing and I'm not going to spend too much of my time and too much of my energy on thinking they have this, this thing they definitely have that thing or whatever you know like at a certain point again as I sort of said I'm going to throw my hands up in the air and go, well, they either have it or they don't. So I'm going to force them to have it. And if they don't have it, then I'm going to win. Or I'm going to do this if they do have it, you know. So again, I've got that game plan. I'm not too worried about what they have. I don't care what they have because, like, at the end of the day, I don't know what they have. So they might have literal nothing. So I might as well just hope for the best and see where everything lands sort of thing rather than getting myself too worked up and too, like, you know, deep into the thoughts of, well, they definitely have this or they definitely have a wrath or whatever coming. So, you know, again, well, they might have that wrath coming. So what am I going to do if they have that wrath coming? Well, I hope I can draw either recursion or protection or something, you know, to, you know, mitigate that wrath, you know, or whatnot. Or maybe I should just wrath myself to... Uh, to do that, you know, like, and, or, again, when I'm wrathing, I want to wrath at, you know, either such a low cost to me in terms of mana uh, and whatnot, or I want to wrath at instant speed so that I can, you know, rebuild first after the wrath type thing, unless it's literally going to kill me right then and there. Um, so, again... That's one of those things. And again, like I want that or I want wraths that don't really hit most of my stuff. So if I'm playing that plus one, plus one counters deck, then I've probably got, you know, divine intervention or whatever it's, divine visitation or whatever it's called um, to protect my stuff that has plus one, plus one counters. So again, the other stuff will die because my opponents aren't really playing that strategy for the most part. So, you know, and my stuff will live and I'll probably kill people in a couple of turns at that point. So you know, that's the kind of thing that I do run because that does really eke out the games and sort of, you know, and I think that's more what some people should be more worried about that I'm running like Divine Visitation or whatever and that sort of thing because, again, that's actually probably going to kill you much easier than me getting, you know, Helioid and then maybe like getting like or having Ballista and whatever else that I definitely don't have, but still one of those things, same with Thoracle or whatever else, you know, like there's always all these combos or whatever that people go, well, that kind of works with what you're doing. Yeah, but it's not that good because this or because that or whatever, you know, really. So, but that is that, that is my thoughts here for this one. You can always let me know your guys' thoughts on this uh, subject. Do you get um, some people that are a bit too nosy or whatever sometimes? Uh, and that sort of thing. You can write all your experiences and that sort of stuff down there in the comments. Hope you've enjoyed. Hope you'll join me again in another one.